This video is the 16th video from the DSLR Blueprint training course. And because exposure is super important in photography, it's crucial to understand the histogram. So here it is. Your camera's histogram is kind of like an exposure gauge, which tells you if you've overexposed or underexposed an image. Let's take a look at it. Here's the histogram. It's this bar graph representation of your image and how it's exposed. And it looks like you might need some kind of engineering mathematical degree in order to read it, but it's a lot easier than you think. Let's look at it. Okay, so we have our LCD, but that's not a very accurate tool in determining exposure of your image because your LCD is intentionally oversaturated and it's tuned so you can look at it in different lighting conditions like when you're outside, for example, in sunlight. But even that, you might get glare on the screen or some kind of reflection to where it can uh, hinder your ability to be able to tell if your image is overexposed or underexposed. And that's what the histogram is for. So a histogram is just a bar graph representation of the distribution of tones within your image, going from black on the left to white on the right. To explain this, what I've got here is a simple image of a grayscale going from full 100% black on the left to full 100% white on the right side and the grayscale in between. If we were to plot this image on a histogram, it would look something like this. If we are to label this graph, we would have going across our tones on the left black going to gray and then going to white. And going up and down is we have our percentage of those tones. And because we have full 100% black somewhere in our image, we can plot 100% black on our histogram. The same thing goes for the white. We have 100% white, so we can plot 100% white on our histogram. And all the grain between just gets evenly distributed throughout the middle. To demonstrate the histogram in real time, what I've done is I've set up this really gray scene where you got a really gray background. And we're going to implement something black into the scene and then something white and see what effect that has on the histogram. So looking through the viewfinder as we start with just the gray background, we can see that on our histogram we have this bulge in the middle here where all the grays lie and that's because of the background is nothing but gray. And it's not just one shade of gray, we have these darker shades, these lighter shades, but overall it's a dominating gray and where the most dominating tone is is where the peak of this bulge is on the histogram. And as we introduce this black case into the scene, because it's laying in front of some of the gray, it's removing some of the gray off the histogram and it's changing it to the black on the histogram to the left here. And the same is true if we introduce this white binder into the scene. Because we're placing it in front of some of the gray, it's removing that off the histogram and it's replacing it with white on the right side. And that's how the histogram works. You've got dark tones on the left, grays in the middle, and light tones on the right. This graph becomes useful in telling if you've overexposed or underexposed. So as we play with the exposure compensation on the camera here, let's overexpose for a little bit. And you can see that the histogram moves to the right to the lighter tones because everything is getting brighter in the scene. It's getting more white, it's moving to the right. And the same is true if we go the opposite direction into underexposing as we use the exposure compensation to change exposure to a lower exposure, you can see the histogram moving now to the left where we're getting more darker tones in the scene. Now if we take this even further, going into the underexposed and the black tones, you can see that it'll start spiking all the way on the left, meaning that something in the scene has gone to full black. And when that happens, that means you've got something underexposed because you've lost all the detail to full black. And if your intention was not to underexpose, then you've got underexposure problems. And the same is true for the other side of the histogram. If we overexpose all the way to the right side and we get a spike on the right, that means that something has gone to full white, meaning that something is overexposed in your image. And again, if that's not your intention, you've got overexposure problems. And that's all there really is to the histogram, going to the extremes here. If you see spikes on the left or spikes on the right, means you've got something of the thing that's either gone to full black or full white and you've got exposure problems. That's it with the histogram. I'll see you in the next video.